And we start with this, a major settlement yeah. today for the family of a woman killed in a crash yeah. involving Chicago police. The shocking video became pivotal evidence in the trial. Nate Rogers is live with more. Yeah, that's right. I'm Natalie and T. In fact, this crash occurred just a few feet from where I'm standing here at this intersection of Division and Laramie. Now, an attorney representing the victims of state said this is among the largest settlements in Illinois awarded to someone who died in their 80s. It was stopped waiting for the cars to proceed through the intersection. A crash too difficult to watch, all caught on camera. A Chicago police officer behind the wheel. May of 2019, Verona Gunn was a passenger. Inside her daughter's car, the vehicle was stopped at a red light when prosecutors say an unmarked police van sped through the... Wow. Chasing the sun, man. Probably most likely chasing the sun, man. <laughs> most likely intersection ignoring the red light colliding with another police suv this was not a police chase they were answering a call two police cars were answering the call at the same time going to the same place but they didn't stop in the intersection one of them didn't see the other one and they collided and that crash pushed one of the cars into verona's car and killed her gun a wow. mother of three great grandmother and so they were responding to a call they were trying to, somebody was like yo such and such is happening please get all officers over here right now and the motherfucker said cool sped to the sea and ran into each other so it was still in good faith you know what i'm saying it wasn't no 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 nefariousness by the cop they were just trying to get there fast man verona's car and killed her gun a mother of three great grandmother and former cps teacher dead at 84 years old Man. she only wanted to teach second yeah, graders bad. because she knew that if she could get them early she could keep them safe and off the streets 10 chicago police officers were injured in the crash officer patrick brown was terminated from the department following after a nearly four year legal fight oh that's their car so this car that's how fast it could happen look how fast it happens like you're just sitting there and next to you know boom 75 million dollars was awarded to the victim's estate for wrongful death verona's voice can't be heard anymore she's dead did they say 75 million wrongful yeah, death. Million. verona's voice can't be heard anymore she's dead but the family was able to speak truth and honesty on behalf of their mother. Now, according to a statement from the victim's son, Pastor Dwight Gunn, who happens to be a well-known leader here on the city's west side, that statement reading in part, quote, it is our hope to honor our mother's legacy by continuing to push for reforms that improve safe driving and eliminate accidents caused by the Chicago Police Department. Of course, we reached out to the city for comment on the settlement. We have not yet heard back. They set for life. Damn. Woo. They set for life. Five armed robberies within an hour this morning. They come just a day after we reported several 7-Elevens were robbed. CBS 2's Assault Rasai is in Bucktown at one of the robbery scenes. Assault? This all happened between 4 and 5 o'clock this morning. I want to show you a map to give you a better idea of exactly how close these robberies happen to each other. Across the west side, you can see they're close in and adjacent neighborhoods. The last armed robbery happening right here on Levin and North Avenue at 5 o'clock this morning. The suspects in a gray sedan pushing a 22-year-old man to the ground and taking his belongings. Just 20 minutes earlier, they hit two locations just 10 minutes apart on North Tall. There, the suspects robbing two separate victims that were sitting inside of their cars. They again got away with money and some personal belongings. We talked to a neighbor in that area who says he's constantly staying alert and advising others to do so as well. I've been on the lookout in terms of behind me. I always check behind me to my sides. Who's hiding? Like if anyone's hiding by the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do right? that's how they got us <laughs> oh my god man <laughs> Jesus 
<laughs> you gotta adjust. You gotta adjust to you know it's yeah. sort of neighbors. No, he's smart. Like this guy. He, I mean, all jokes aside, this guy is doing what you what you have. To <laughs> yeah, do. for real. I mean, but gee. But but let's be honest, Mike. Like, th this is all happening because the malls are not allowing them to go. They don't have shit to exactly. do. You know. They don't have nothing to do, man. Wow. Uh. Believable, man. He's constantly staying alert and advising others to do so as well. I've been on the lookout in terms of behind me. I always check behind me to my sides. Who's hiding? Like if anyone's hiding by the car. And if so, I, I take the necessary implementation. Just keep on walking or running away, essentially. The he first robbery nature. happening at four. I, I like his eye. He, he said he, he for his life. I think he mm -hmm. walked out the nation. Yeah, no, he made a good decision because if they're following you, don't go to your fucking car. Like, yeah, like you just walk past it. Like, you act like you keep walking. Yeah, keep on walking. Or, or like if you get somewhere, like run. Yeah, because, yeah, like you can run into like a crowd of people and, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just want to be on a quiet street with them. Right. Or, or do what, what Mayo was doing, just open fire, you know? Yeah, Mossy. Yeah, Mossy. Just, yeah, just shoot all of them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> the first robbery happening at four o'clock this morning in the 700 block of Jackson. That's where a lot of people are getting off of the train. Commuters there, a 57 year old and a 51 year old man were stopped when four suspects got out of a silver sedan waving a gun and demanding their belongings. One of those men was hit in the head by one of those suspects. 20 minutes later at 420, police say that same car description Four suspects took down a 69 year old man in the 800 block. Some men, hell on some seniors, man. Of North Walcott <laughs> taking his belongings at gunpoint. Right now, there is no indication that any surveillance cameras, at least in this area, caught that fleeing car. Right now, we do. <sighs> and on that note, man, I'm out. Peace out. And deuces. Peace. Peace.